Hi everyone, it's Chet once again and welcome to my channel. So sa mga bago pa sa channel ko, please um, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and if you have comments, you can comment it down in the comment section below. And I am always reading all your comments. So for today's video is, isi-share ko lang sa inyo yung mga battles and struggles ko dito sa UK. So when I arrived here, it was on March 2020 and I think we were the last batch ng mga Pinoy nurses who were deployed and after that, nag travel ban na. So that's it. And then when we arrived here in the UK, um, ayun, pumutok na yung COVID crisis. So first is, I was battling with jet lag when I arrived here. My god, akala ko inarte lang yung jet lag. Totoo pala talaga siya, guys. Um, that feeling when dito it's afternoon and then way back home is it's evening and they're sleeping and then you are very sleepy here because your body clock is sa penas pa. But then you need to wake up your eyes because you're having your Ano, um, trainings here. So, yun, jet lag. So, it lasted like one week until naka-adjust fully yung body ko with, uh, <laughs> with the time, time zone, you know, the difference with time. And then, second is, I'm battling with the weather, guys. As in, the weather here is very sad for me. It's very gloomy. The sky is gray. I cannot see the sun as in when I arrive here wala talagang sun and it really affects my mood I don't know if it's just me or a lot of people are also experiencing this one wherein if the weather is too gloomy you are always upset parang gloomy ka na rin inside so but lately since it's spring minsan ang sun nagpapakita so parang and to cheer up ng konti, gano. And then, this was my, no, th not this was, this is my first time to be away from my family. As in, even when I went to college, I was still with my family. I didn't have my boarding house, even if our house is far away from school or far away from our duties. So, I had to go home. Because I love being at home with my family and especially right now that I am already married I have my husband and my two daughters I super miss them a lot and it's really different when you see them physically or you can hug and touch them as compared to video call it's really different guys as in I was really affected by this and then I went to a point in my life, especially when I was in my second week dito, second to third week, I called my husband and my mom. I told them, I am giving up this UK dream. I am giving up this UK dream. As in, I broke down. As in, grabe yung iyak ko. As in, feeling ko hindi ko na kaya. I super, super miss them. And then, one thing pa na, na, nakakapag-add up to that um, to that feeling is guys, it's COVID crisis. I went here at doon pumutok yung crisis ng COVID. Um, I hear a lot of news about the issues of PPE here and then a lot of Pinoy nurses are dying due to COVID. So, I, I have that feeling, it's very, very heavy on my heart that I am battling this crisis and at the same time, I am battling homesickness because I am away from home. And I even went to a point na ayoko nang alagaan yung sarili ko. Ko alam. Because way back in the Philippines, um, 
ay naliligo ako in the morning and then half bath in the evening, ganun. When I arrived here, kasi parang two days ako hindi naligo. Ayaw kong aralagaan yung sarili ko. Ewan ko, I don't know what happened to me. I said, and I told mo, and I told myself, what is happening to me? This is not me. As in, even if I went to duty tapos wala akong kilay, okay lang. Eh, dati parang kilay is life, di ba? So, ayun, kinustin ko yung self ko. Bakit ito nangyayari sa akin? And then, the, um, yung feeling ko, isa sa mga worst thing that happened to me here is I got admitted. Um, I was supposed to be I mean, I will visit Sana, the GP. The GP is their doctor here to have my checkup because I am feeling something. But then the GP or the clin the clinics here, surgery yung tawag nila, the clinics here are not open due to COVID. So I decided to visit A and E, the ER, in our hospital. I just wanted to be checked, but then they admitted me because. I need to be checked and there is a procedure, I mean a diagnostic procedure to know if there is something wrong with me and luckily wala naman so I got discharged uh, one day lang ako dun sa hospital so it's okay. But then when I was there in the hospital I feel so alone. It's so different as in um Iba yung feeling if you are sick and then you are far away from your family. You need to take care of yourself because you cannot trust anyone. You just have to trust yourself and be strong for yourself. Ganon yung feel ko. And then lastly, I'm battling with a no language barrier. Although, tayong mga Pinoy, um, we are very good in English. So dito ko na-appreciate si IELTS. Why? UK is very strict with their IELTS requirement because it's hard for me. I don't know with others, but for me, it's hard to understand them. I mean, you, uh, you know you understand them, but you cannot comprehend in words kung what you will going to answer to them if they are asking you a question or they are cracking jokes but di mo magets na joke na pala yun parang ganun siguro because they're too slang ano alam mo yung british accent parang ganun but i'm trying to ano hopefully i can adjust to that so um yung mga ginawa ko so that i can survive here although i'm still struggling naman First is I always call my family every day. Swede na lang tayo because we have Facebook or other means of communication. Like we do video chats always. Although it's really different when you can touch them physically. But at least you can talk to them. I'm glad I have my family who are very very understanding. Especially when I broke down. <laughs> they tried to understand me. And then I also have my friends who keep on messaging me, especially my best friend. Um, I got my strength from them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so emotional. <laughs> and then second thing is I always eat chocolates. <laughs> As in, mas lalo akong tumaba dito sa yung kikakain ko ng chocolate. So, until na umay na ako sa chocolate. So, para lang pa-increase ng ano, happy hormones. Ganun. And then, last, ah, uh, no, third thing is, I try to familiarize this place. So, parang, carry ko na mag alone, carry ko na mag alone to have my groceries. So, parang, it will relieve that anxiety, that feeling, that fear of uh, unknown places. So, at least, medyo, ka ng konti. And then also, I have my, ano, ito speaker. Ito siya. Ang tawag sa kanya is the Alexa speaker ng Amazon. 
So, trinay ko siya. Alam nyo ba guys, kasi wala akong makausap dito. Kasi yung mga flatmates ko na jujuti and they also have their own, ano, struggle siguro. So, I have this one. Kinakausap ko siya. Para kausapin din niya ako. So, this is what happens. Alexa, what is your favorite food? I'm not able to eat, but I reckon Hawaiian pizza has it all. It's sweet, salty, and brave. Putting fruit on pizza was a bold step, and I'm always a fan of where a hunger for innovation can take you. Diba? Ang dami niya explanation. Alexa, what is your favorite color? I like ultraviolet. It glows with everything. Ayan, kinakausap ko siya. Wala akong kausap siya yung kinakausap ko. Especially if tulog na yung family ko sa Philippines. So, ayan. Si Alex ang kinakausap ko. And then, lastly, ito talaga guys. Ito yung magpaparilib sa burden nyo. This one. I have my rosary. And then, ito yung rosary guide. Bikay ng mama ko. So, I always pray and pray and pray as in pray talaga tapos um gusto ko sana magsimba but then due to lockdown there are no masses so I attend online mass nasa YouTube or sa Facebook magsearch ka lang mga online mass so ayun you just have to pray and be strong actually yung sinasabi ko sa inyo but I need to apply it to myself that I need to be strong talaga so that I can survive here in the UK I also went to a point where in sabi ko sa husband ko, babayaran ko na lang yung contract ko dito at uuwi na ako. As in, parang, I think UK is not for me at this time, but I need to be strong talaga kasi wala naman akong magagaw. I feel so helpless. Um, I know that I have a little money na pwedeng pangbili ko ng plane ticket. I have the means, but I cannot do anything as of the moment, so I just have to be strong and live within the moment and just pray to God. By the way, I am also very thankful also to my aunt, to my tita Gagang here in the UK for taking good care of me. Nasa London siya and we cannot yet meet, but she keeps on sending me goods and now she's sending me again this one. I think... This is already the fifth package that I received from her. So thank you so much, Tita, for taking care of me here.